Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you this Wimi USB 3 to SATA slash ID adapter with one touch backup function. I'll put the link and 20% discount code down below in the description. This adapter allows you to connect any SATA or ID drive to USB port and transfer data up to 5 gigabits per second. This means you can easily clone disks, create backups and recover data from crushed operating systems or corrupted hard disks. Ok, it comes with micro USB 3.0 cable, AC adapter, this device requires external power supply whether you use 2.5 or 3.5 inch drives. This is power connector for 3.5 inch ID drives, simple user manual and CD which contains user manuals in PDF and data backup application. This adapter has one SATA and two ID connectors for 2.5 and 3.5 inch drives, data backup button, on-off switch, DC power jack, micro USB 3.0 port and power connector for 3.5 inch ID drives. So let's plug this in and see how it works. It's a plug and play device so there is no need to install any additional drivers. So let's go ahead and plug this adapter into the SSD and flip the switch. Here's a new drive and as you can see I have full access to its file system. So you can easily recover data from a crashed operating system or access your files on some old drive from a broken laptop or desktop. Ok, let's check the data transfer speed. I'm going to copy this 4GB file to the SSD and as you can see it's pretty fast. When you're done using your drive, click the safe remove hardware icon and eject your drive before powering the device off. Now I want to repeat the same test with 1, 2 and 3 simultaneously connected hard drives. Let's start with the SATA hard drive. Well, it's night and day difference between SSDs and hard drives. So, let's connect this 2.5 inch ID drive and copy the same file to both drives. So, as you can see, the whole bandwidth is equally split between two ports. Finally, let's connect the third drive and do the same test for all drives. In order to connect a 3.5 inch ID drive, we have to use this power connector. Plug it into the adapter and then into your drive. So basically we got nicely divided bandwidth between all drives. When you connect two ID drives, whether it's an optical drive or hard disk, you have to set one of them as a slave, otherwise this adapter won't detect any drives. Ok, so according to this diagram, if there's no jumper on these pins, this drive is set to master, so next you must set your second drive as a slave. If you look at the general pin settings, as you can see this jumper is set to master. To set this particular model into the slave mode, we just need to remove this jumper. The jumper settings may vary between brands and models, so always check your drive's jumper diagram. The same connection and disconnection procedure for an optical disk drive. Basically you can connect any type of optical drive like CD, DVD or Blu-ray with complete reading and writing functionality. Alright, so now let's install this application and see how OneTouch backup function works. Check this option if you need a desktop shortcut. So first connect a hard drive where you want to store your backups. It's absolutely empty and as you can see this app has just recognized the drive and USB type. Before you can get started you need to configure a few things. Click config tab and check this box. It will assign your PC as the original backup source to the connected hard drive. Click save. Click the OTB path and select which files, folders or drives you want to backup. For example, I want to backup my documents, desktop and the database on C drive. Finally click the option tab and make sure that these checkboxes are selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this button and click OK to start backup operation. Once completed, you can open the drive and check your data. Ok, so if you lost your files, you can easily restore your data from the previous backup. Click the Restore tab and here you have two options. You can restore your data to a specific custom location or to the original place, it's up to you. Click Restore and as you can see I got all my files back. So it's pretty handy function, especially if you only need to backup specific data on a regular basis. Using this adapter and mini tool partition wizard, you can clone your internal drive onto the external one. It's very handy if you want to upgrade your laptop from a hard drive to an SSD without reinstalling Windows games and all your stuff. Simply select the source and target drives and this application will automatically resize partitions, shrink or expand. So just click apply 
and then click Restart now. When it's done, simply replace the drive in your computer and you're good to go. So, this adapter is a perfect solution for data backup, disk cloning and data transfer. And it's a must for every IT technician and pretty useful for regular users.